Welcome to a W1RCP Radio video. All right, so here's what we need for this particular project. We are making a backpack sized microphone for the KX2, the Elecraft KX2. Now, I have this, it works. I tried it out this weekend, but this is kind of heavy. And when you go backpacking, or even if even if you're just gonna walk, you know, to the to a field carrying a little bag, this is weight. So you have to lug it around. This message is brought to you by I don't want to go shopping again. Kyle Alpha Alpha Zero Zulu put up on the Twitter. We'll put it right there. That he used a K6 ARK kit, and I was like, please stop suggesting things to buy. So, after a little research, I found out, guess what? I have the stuff to build it at home. Over. Chances are you have both of these somewhere, especially the headset for the walkie-talkie. We're gonna cut that off. That is the headphones portion. Got it? There we go. All right, so we don't need to hear out of this hole, so we're gonna get rid of that. <laughs> Wire cutter. Squeeze it. Keep squeezing. Did it work? Yep. So there's four wires. Now we gotta figure out where these wires go. All right, so here's how we're gonna check to see without taking this apart. This is the microphone and the switch together. So there's your microphone pass through and there's your switch. And then you cut off. And these are the wires right here. So in order to check which one is which, instead of taking apart that piece, what we're gonna do is just ohm it out. The microphone should have some form of continuity um, in the, uh, we're thinking the kill ohm range. And then the switch is connected to the common. And if we push the switch, we might get continuity through the microphone but we'll also get continu continuity through the ground. And that is, or the common, and that's how we're gonna dis differentiate. So first we're gonna look for the two microphone wires. So we already ohmed it out because we don't have enough hands to video. We found that one to three has one kill ohm of resistance. And none of the other ones, we did one to two, one to three, one to four, two to three, two to four, and then three to four. So there's only that many combinations. And I believe that's what, six, one, two, three, four, five, yep, six combinations. And then we did with Oliver, that's him. He's, he's drawing a diagram with different color wires there. So he then pushed the switch. And when he pushed the switch, I went through the same thing. I started with one because I knew that had to be one of the options for a common. And we did one to two, one to three, of course, we didn't need to because we knew that was the mic. And one to four, nothing. Uh, when we went one to four, we had one kill ohm. That tells me that it went through this path. So one to four, we knew that four was gonna be um, probably Part of the switch so one was the microphone output so then we continued on and we found out three to four is six ohms so that's probably the resistance of this little teeny tiny wire too all right so that's how we figured out our connections we are going to delete number two so I just splayed them out like this because I can't tell the colors of these wires. I'm colorblind. I know that one's very blue-like. So pin three is your common. So, I mean, naturally, I guess whatever color that is, is your common. So I won't miss that one. We're gonna delete this one from the circuit. And Oliver, 
Time to cut. More so, cuttage. more cuttage. He is gonna trim, sorry guys, he's gonna trim this one off. So be very careful, get those side cutters right there, the nippy snippies, yep. And trim, hold on, hold on, let me focus, let me focus. Yep, trim that one as close to that as you can get. Green wire. Okay, yep. so we got rid of that. We'll just fold that out of the way with some heat shrink in a little bit. I can, I can cut it if you want. We did it. So now, because I don't have a stereo actual component, I'm just gonna use this. And this came off of probably some stereo cable or something like that. So I'm just gonna use that and splice it in. I am gonna trim it because of course we're, we're talking about being lightweight here and this is quite hefty. So lots of heat shrink about to get used. So here's how we did it. We put heat shrink on each individual wire and then I have heat shrink on this end and two pieces over here. So this is nice and reinforced at this, this break. And of course, Oliver's over here cutting out his creation. The wireage. The wireage. Uh, Arnie, and behind us is the heat shrinker. Don't look back there, it's a mess. But that's, that's part of my inheritance from my mother. It's nice. All right, it's the moment of truth. So, we're gonna plug it into the microphone. Ollie, why don't you do the honors? You plug it in right here. Push that in. External mic. So, Oliver, push the PTT button. So it transmits. Now, say my call sign over the, uh, in the microphone. W1RCP, Whiskey One, Radio Charlie, 590 York. Whiskey One Radio Charlie Papa. Keep going. Whiskey One Radio Charlie Papa. One more. Whiskey One Radio Charlie Papa. It works. We did it. Um, we made us a lightweight microphone. I don't have a scale to weigh it, but I hear that it's only like 0.3 of an ounce. 